many of them are literate, but there are several who are illiterate. Uh, and then uh, within the action groups, there would be a few members who can write applications and stuff. So all the illiterate would then use them. Very recently, we have also started working with adolescent girls who are much better at using things like, uh, you know, smartphones, etc. And uh, also uh, doing the surveys and writing. All of this also involves a lot of, uh, you know, micro level surveys, data to be given to the government. Uh, which is something that we actually empower the women to capture the data themselves online, upload it. So there is a lot of digital education also very recently going on. And one of the things that in fact I would like to highlight to the world is that when people talk digital literacy, it's mostly for financial inclusion or for uh, say employment or employability. But there is a huge area where you cannot now make good governance without being digitally literate. And that's a different ball game. So while we do educate them on digital literacy now, it's mostly for making their governance much better. COVID uh, app during the COVID was a very good example. Yeah, you couldn't get the vaccine unless and until um, you registered with the app. So then you have to understand the, you have to be digitally literate. The beauty of this community action groups that we have set up uh, over the cities is that although they began with uh, say access to water, sanitation or healthy housing, uh, all of these things of course had a very huge impact on their health because it was very closely linked. Uh, is that now that these community action groups are ready, you can build anything on them. So for example, when COVID struck, uh, we undertook all the relief with them. We undertook all the preventive, uh, you know, health education with them on how to prevent COVID and or probably uh, how to detect, uh, you know, cases which were more vulnerable. So. Uh, we provided them uh, with uh, weight meters, oximeters. We also provided them with, uh, but uh, you know, educated them with measuring the BP and diabetes. And then, uh, you know, they actually detected cases uh, of pregnant and lactating mothers, of people who were diabetic or had blood pressure in their own areas. Uh, so we gave one kit to every community action group and then those were given special attention uh, in terms of health or also probably even to reach the relief because most of our staff was also immobile, yeah? there were lockdowns. But there were private sector like, uh, you know, Zometo or, uh, you know, Swiggy who probably reached out to us and they wanted to give relief support. And so all that we did was that we linked them with the community action groups at the local level and they reached the relief support in terms of food there. And uh, the community action group then, uh, you know, ensured that the most needy got it first at their slum level. Uh, and so I think uh, very interestingly now this has become a group where you can build any layer because of the kind of empowerment that they have gone through.